Hello and welcome to York News, a brief look at what's new and what's happening in York County. I'm Gail Whitaker. Coming up on this edition of York News, the sports complex will be receiving a new name this month. First on, so work session is... Uh... Up first, the Board of Supervisors held its regular meeting on Tuesday, September 1st. At the meeting, the board held a work session discussing the National Park Service with Superintendent Kim Hall. The board also discussed the 2016 legislative program. The board approved both items on the consent calendar, which were the minutes of a previous meeting and the certification that the York County Comprehensive Plan designates various growth areas that are consistent with the Code of Virginia. The next meeting of the Board of Supervisors is scheduled for Tuesday, September 15th at 6 p.m. in York Hall. There are four public hearing items on the agenda. These are proposed amendments to the York County Code that will incorporate changes to the zoning ordinance made necessary by amendments to the Code of Virginia, proposed amendment to the York County Code to incorporate changes to the subdivisions chapter that will incorporate changes made necessary by amendments to the Code of Virginia, an ordinance to amend sections of the York County Code to exempt certified pollution control equipment, antique motor vehicles, and certain all-terrain motor vehicles from local personal property taxation, and an ordinance to amend code sections of the York County Erosion and Sediment Control Ordinance to bring it into conformance with the Code of Virginia by updating references to code sections caused by a recodification of the Virginia Erosion and Sediment Law. Public hearings begin at 7 p.m. Board of Supervisors meetings are retelecast on WYCG-TV on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. Programs scheduled for 6 p.m. on the board's meeting dates will be preempted by the live meeting. Meetings are also available both live and on demand on the web. WYCG TV programming on the web may be reached by logging on to the county's website and then selecting WYCG on the home page. The York County Sports Complex located on Route 17 is being renamed the McReynolds Athletic Complex or MAC in honor of late County Administrator James McReynolds. A brief ceremony will be held on Friday, September 25th at the Sports Complex. The ceremony is open to the public. Details are not yet complete, however information will be available via the county's website and on this TV station. Mr. McReynolds died suddenly in October of last year of an apparent heart attack. Friday Night Roller Skating Fun returns to York County for the new school year beginning Friday, September 11th. The popular Skate, Rattle and Roll program will again be held in the Dare Elementary School Gymnasium at 300 Dare Road. This year kicks off with a back-to-school neon skate. Each week, the family and elementary school session will run from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The session is open to children in grades kindergarten through five and their parents. Older children may also participate if they are attending with their family. The middle school session is held from 9 to 11 p.m. for young people in grades six to eight. The doors will open 10 minutes before the beginning of each scheduled session. Admission is $5, which includes the rental of skates. Students may rent roller blades for an additional $3. Concessions will be available for purchase, and for more information, please call Parks, Recreation, and Tourism at 890-3500. Yorktown Market Days continues this month with the second annual Pause at the River Pet Day. Held on Saturday, September 12th, this special market will include demonstrations and information from a variety of participating exhibitors, including pet rescue organizations and German Shepherd Rescue. Other exhibits include agility demonstrations, the importance of training your pet, having an environmentally friendly pet, and how to include your pet in emergency planning for your family. For more information, please call 890-3500. York County Pocosin Extension Master Gardeners will hold a plant sale at the Learning Garden in Pocosin on Saturday, September 26, from 8 a.m. to noon. The Learning Garden is located next to the Pocosin Museum at 968 Pocosin Avenue. For more information, please call 890-4940. The Gallery at York Hall will host month-long events to celebrate fall arts this September and October. 
The month begins with a new exhibit of mixed media and wildlife featuring Jim Wilson, wildlife artist and naturalist. New fall quilts and bird carvings are included in the exhibit. October will feature the opening of the Yorktown Art Exhibit, highlighting the work of botanical artist Linda Miller. Special events will include artist meet and greet opportunities and art demonstrations, such as Special Art Sale on September 26th and Hazel Camp Watercolor Artist on September 27th. For more information, call the gallery at your call at 890-4490. The Yorktown Arts Foundation and York County invite the public to celebrate Arts Month in Yorktown for the fourth annual Yorktown Arts Stroll on Sunday, September 27th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. This one-of-a-kind event will meld local businesses with artists and their work. Enjoy a stroll through the town while each artist displays and sells their work in various shops and businesses in Yorktown and Riverwalk Landing. Artists interested in participating should send an email to YorktownArtsFoundation at gmail.com. For more information, please call 369-1108 or visit www.visityorktown.org. And finally, a variety of exciting and educational programs and activities have been scheduled for the Senior Center of York in September. Arts and crafts, exercise programs, computer lab, and more await seniors age 55 and older and their spouses regardless of age. The Senior Center is located at 5314 George Washington Memorial Highway in the Washington Square Shopping Center. For more information, please call 890-3444. That's all for this edition of York News. Please join us on September 23rd for the next edition of York News. Until then, thanks for watching.